Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Simon Wright. I am the Director of Programming here at Japan House London. And in conjunction with the opening of our new exhibition, Kumihimo, Japanese Silk Braiding by Domyo, Japan House is delighted to present a talk by Domyo Kiichiro, the 10th generation head of Yusoku Kumihimo Domyo in Ueno, Tokyo. This talk explores how members of the Domyo workshop have adapted silk braiding techniques to meet the needs of an ever-changing society in the 21st century. Tonight, in addition to our audience here at Japan House, we are also broadcasting live to a virtual audience on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So a warm welcome to all our online viewers as well. And this event is being recorded and a recording will be archived on our online platforms for you to view later, if you so wish. So Domyo Kichiro is from Tokyo. And after graduating from university with a degree in architecture in 2006, he, was a poor, he established his own architectural practice where he worked on designs for residences, shops and businesses. But it was in 2012 that he was appointed representative director of Domyo Company Limited. While exploring new possibilities of kumihimo as a 3D structure, he researches and recreates historical kumihimo that can be found in various locations around Japan, alongside designing and manufacturing obijime for kimono. In 2015, he founded Domyo, a department specializing in making kumihimo for that which is beyond just kimono. Following the presentation, there will be a short kumihimo demonstration using the takadai and marudai, and after which there will be an opportunity for all of you to ask questions. Questions are also welcomed from our guests online, watching Zoom, so please do submit your questions using the Zoom question and answer function. But without further ado, I think we should probably get started, and would you please join me in warmly welcoming Domyo Kiichiro. Hello everyone. My name is Kichiro Domyo. Uh, Thank you very much for attending this event, which I will talk about Kumihimo. Um, あの、日本の組紐とは一体何なのかということをですね、私なりの解釈を交えてお話ししたいと思います。Today I will be talking about the question what is kumihimo with the interpretation of my own um of um what I think kumihimo is. はい。え、それではですね、早速映像を交えて始めたいと思います。Um I will I have slides uh, which has many images so um let us begin. え、組紐というものはですね、織物や編み物とも違う構造を持ったですね、え、長い紐を作る技法です。組紐 is the technique to make a long string which is completely different in its structure and technique to any other handcraft such as knitting and weaving. え、組織物はですね、あの、皆さんご存知と思いますが、縦糸と with weaving, as you may know, there are two different types of threads um, being going over each other, warp and weft. However, with kumihimo, there is only one type of threads used, and all the threads go into crisscross as you can see on the right hand section. はい、え、このようにですね、組紐はえ、この軸作に糸が進みながらですね、あの、糸の様々な色のついた糸、染め、染めによって様々な色をつけた糸ですとか、あと糸の数や、え、柄の置く順番を変えることによって、大変美しい
infinite number of variations with the type of dyes used, so different colors and different braiding techniques, as well as how where the patterns show up in Kumihimo. <clears throat> そうですね。染めによって、例えばこのようなグラデーションの、えー、絵柄なども作ることができます。Um, techniques, えー、組みひもというものをですね、あの次元、ディメンションによって少し、えーまあ、あのいろいろな美術工芸の中でどこに位置するのかというのをですね、ディメンションによって分類してみたいと思います。I'd like, to, I'd like to classify what I,、um, what, where I think Kumihimo sits in terms of、um, compared against other art and craft forms.、はいえー、例えばですね、あの三次元の美術というものはですね、例えば建築や彫刻というものが含まれます。立体のものですね。When you think of three dimensional art,、um, we can think of architecture and sculpture and such.、えー次にあの二次元のアートにはですね、あの平面のアートにはですね、絵画や例えば織物のようなものが含まれます。With two-dimensional art,、um, paintings, textiles, and weaving,、um, probably all of them would go into this section.、えー、そして組紐はですね、一本の線の中に美しい美学を描きますので、この一次元のアートなんですね。Whereas 組紐 Because we are creating a beautiful pattern on a single line, in a single line, it is an art form of one dimension. And, and another form of one dimensional art is music. By which I mean music exists in time,、um, and the time only moves in the forward motion. So, therefore, music is classified as one dimensional art. Kumihimo もですね、このようにまっすぐの線の中でどんどんどんどんこう色や形がこう変化しながら進んでいきます。And as you can see here, within Kumihimo, various colors and patterns change. And change shapes into another to create a beautiful pattern. And you can compare this to music that is played beautifully against each note and how it changes as the time goes on. こちら上にあるのが、えー、組紐のですね手順を手の動かし方の手順を書いた、えー、あやがきと呼ばれるものですね。And on the top, you see Ayagaki, which shows the instructions for braiding techniques of Kumihimo.、えー、これを組みひもの台の前に置いて、見ながら組みひもを組んでいきます。So these are braiding patterns, and you would place that in front of the stands when you braid. あたかも音楽の楽譜のようです。So it is very similar to sheet music. こちらは組紐を組んでいる様子になりますが、えー、どうでしょうか。And this is the video that shows how 組紐 is being braided. But what do you think? あたかも楽器を演奏しているかのようです。Would you say that this is very similar to instruments being played? はい、えー。ドイツの哲学者フリードリヒ・シェリングは。ゴシックのカテドラルを指してこう言いました。And a German philosopher, Friedrich Schelling, has actually said something pointing at a Gothic cathedral.、えー、建築は凍れる音楽であると。Architecture is frozen music. しかし、私は組み紐という組み紐の方がよっぽど音楽的なものだと思っております。Personally, I think 組み紐 is much more of a music. Than architecture. そこで私はこう言いたいと思います。So I would like to present a new slogan instead of the old one. 組、えー、紐は引っ張れる音楽であると。組紐 is music that can be pulled. <笑>、えー、いい組紐は大変よく伸縮します。Good, great 組紐 
has a good tautness, flexibility, elasticity. しかしですね、ちょっとここまで言っておいて大変申し訳ないのですが、私は音楽家のように組紐を作ることはできません。なぜなら、私は音楽の勉強がとても不得意だからです。Uh, しかしですね、私は。えー、建築の勉強をしておりましたので、えー、建築のように組紐を作りたいと思っております。So, like えー、そこで私はこういうふうに言いたいと思います。So, like えー、組紐は建築である。組紐は引っ張れる建築である。So, 組紐 is architecture. 組み紐がなぜ建築かということはですね、またこの後にお話ししたいと思います。Um, you might be wondering why I'm calling 組み紐 architecture, but this will be explained later on in the presentation.、えー、そしてですね、もう一つあの日本の組み紐で非常に重要な点があるんですが、And there is another element that I would like to mention with Japanese 組み紐。この、えー、左側の組み紐これはですねあの、中国から伝わってきた、えー、奈良時代の古い時代の組み紐です。組み紐が見つかっていたのは、この組み紐は、この組み紐が見つかっそれがですね、そこから、えー、300年ほど時代が経って平安時代になりますと、の中,中期ぐらいになりますと、このようにですね、非常に複雑な組み紐が出来上がってきます。And 300 years from onwards from Nara period in the middle of Heian era, you see on the right、um, these very complex, intricate kumihimo is, was being made.、えー、この左側のものがですね、このひし形が2つ作られていますが、まあ、これは非常に素晴らしく美しく力強い組紐なんですが。And on the left, You see the two rows of diamonds going down, and by itself, it is extremely beautiful and dynamic. こちらの平安時代の組紐ではですね、このひし形が14個並んでおります。But in the Heian period, you see the, the number of rows are 14. In fact, so 14 diamonds are braided. 日本人の手によってですね、非常に組紐もが独自の発展を遂げて、世界に類を見ない、世界で一番複雑な組紐を作るようになりました。By taking 組紐 on、um, in its original Japanese evolutional journey, it has gone into an extremely complex and intricate form,、um, which is incomparable to any other 組紐 o that exist in the world. それでは、日本の組紐の歴史を見てみたいと思います。Let's now look at the history of Japanese 組紐こちらがですね、奈良時代に作られた、えー、組紐になります。And these are the examples of 組紐 which were made in Nara period.、えー、奈良時代のですね、奈良の,の正倉院という蔵には、あの天皇が使った組紐がたくさん残されています。In the Shoso in Imperial Repository of,、um, in, of Todaiji Temple, there, were, there are many kumihimo which were used by the emperors. Shoso in the kumihimo wa Nihon no kumihimo no kigen des. So these kumihimo are the origin of Japanese kumihimo. So ste kochira ga sakiodo no mo mise shita hirao to yobare ru hi jou ni fukuzat na kumihimo des. And this is another example of Hirao Kumihimo,、um, which is extremely complex. こちらは平安時代の貴族社会の中で、えー、貴族の宮廷での清掃に使われています。フォーマルの上に。And these,、um, these Hirao were used, for, used by aristocrats in the Heian Imperial Court.、Um, and they were, it, it was part of the, their formal attire. はいえー、そしてですね、その後、その次の時代は武士の時代になります。And now we are moving on to the samurai period. 武士のこの左側にあるのはですね、えー、鎧にはものすごくたくさんの組紐が使われています
on the left image, um, you see the armor, samurai armor, and there are many, many kumihimo are used as part of the armor. And some of them, um, which has many kumihimo within, they some of them have ten ten different varieties of a kumihimo. You could say that armor, in fact, is made up of kumihimo. And another type of kumihimo that I'd like to show you is sageo, which is to be attached to the sword. And on the right hand side, you see the pic you see an image of Hasekura Tsunenaga, and who is the first samurai to have arrived in Europe. This portrait was painted in Europe in the middle of 16th century, but you see Sageo within this portrait. And in the Edo period, Obi sash became bigger than the previous eras. In order to secure Obi, uh, which has become too large to hold on um, tight by its own, Obi jime was added on top. In the Meiji era, kumihimo was started to be used as obijime. So, And these are the examples of um, contemporary obijime. Next part, as next part of the presentation, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, research and reproduction, reconstruction that we do um, of ancient Kumihimo. マイクロスコープなどを使って調べてこのように復元していきます。As you see on the left-hand side, ancient kumihimo tends to be in not the greatest conditions. Um, but we would use microscope to study in detail of what color they were, how they were made, and what how it was braided to create the reconstruction. え、こちらはですね、あの、平家農協と呼ばれる厳島神社にある綺麗な巻物にのを巻いている組紐です。And these are kumihimo that was used to hold the hand scroll um tightly at um which are kept at Itsukushima shrine. え、溶けて、もうこの1000年ぐらい前のものなので溶けてなくなっている糸もあるんですが、そういった糸も as these are around 1,000 years old, some of the threads um, have disappeared, dissolved. Um, but we are we're researching, but also um, exercise our own ideas to come up with the colors such as these. またですね、こちらはあの中尊寺というお寺にあるですね、平安時代の武将のミイラの棺が収まあります。And this is an image from the Chusonji temple, and there is a coffin um, which has a mummy inside. え、その胸の上にあった組紐なんですが、がこれなんですが、長らくどのように作られているのかがえ、わからないものでした。And the mummy had kumihimo um, tied around his body. And it wasn't very clear how that kumihimo was made. Uh, so, uh, 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 u
、えー、非常に試行錯誤を重ねて、なんとか復元することに成功しました。CEO of our business from two generations before me,、um, he succeeded in reconstructing this Kumihimo.、えー、次にですね、Kumihimo の非常に重要なあの構造についてお話ししたいと思います。Next, I'd like to touch on the structure of Kumihimo, which is extremely important. まずこれは糸ですね。どのような糸で作られているかということなんですが、まあ、あの21デニールという細い糸を4本。束ねて、えー、下寄りをかけて、それをさらに三本束ねて、上寄りをかけています。And so it, you would please have a look from the left hand side.、Um, you see twenty one denier, which is a very thin thread. Four of them are binded together. You give it a lower twist, and the lower twist are made、uh, three. You would make three of them. To bring them together into a ply twist. これがあの糸一本ですね。それを、えー、だいたいまあ四本とか細いものでは多いものではもう何十本も束ねながら組紐を作っていきます。That would form one single thread, and if you're making a very thin 組紐 you would use four of them, and or a bigger one would require many of those. はいえー、これはですね、あの奈良組という組み方なんですが、えー、非常にシンプルな組,か組み紐の一つなんですが、それの断面、えー、がこちらです。And this is the braiding pattern called 奈良組、a rather simple one. And you would see the cross section of 奈良組 on top.、えー、こちらはですね、平組と呼ばれるあの平らな組み紐の、えー、一番代表的な安田組というものの。構造のセクションの断面のモデルです。And this is the cross section of Anda Gumi, which is the most representative、um, one of Hira Gumi and、um, flat, flat braiding. そしてですね、ここからが日本の組紐の面白いところなんですが。And from this slide onwards, it shows the very original Japanese 組紐 technique. えー、こちらはですね、先ほどの並組がですね、2本並んだ、えー、形をしている御嶽組という組み方です。Uh, this 御嶽組、uh, braiding pattern are two 奈良組 s structured together、えー。このようにですね、日本、えー、この御嶽組から先はですね、日本にしかない組み紐なんですが、えー、2つの組み紐を合体させて、えー、新たな組紐を作ることができるようになりました。So anything from this slide onwards, only the, the patterns only exist in Japan. But as you can see here, two braiding patterns are combined together to create a new pattern.、えー、そしてそこから先はですね、えー、さらに御嶽組を2つ。上下に合体させた最大地組です。And this 最大地組 pattern is the combination of two 御嶽組、はいえー。さらに最大地組を横に2つ合体させた両面拮抗組です。And this double faced 拮抗組 pattern is made up of two 最大地組 patterns put together horizontally. このようにですね、日本の組紐はどんどんどんどんあの組紐を連結させてより複雑な組紐を組めるようになりました。So Japanese 組紐 evolved、um, as they started, as the craftspeople started to combine the patterns together to create more intricate patterns.、えー、さらにちょっと織物と比べてみたいと思うんですが、やはり織物というのはですね、あの縦糸に対してさまざまな横糸を入れていくことで、結構自由に絵を描くことができるんですね。I'd like, I'd like to see the difference between weaving and weaving and kumi、um, here. So these are the types of weaving techniques that could be used and、um, how weft go into warp to create patterns.、Um, but as there are so many techniques to do this, you can create, it's very easy to draw、um, and paint. On top of the weaved materials. 
。えー、しかしですね、それに対して組みひもは、えー、糸の立体的な動きのストラクチャーがあるんですが、そのストラクチャーの制約の中でしか絵柄を描くことができません。In comparison, 組みひも is rather limited. Because you would need to structure three dimensionally to create these patterns,、um, it's not as you won't be able to paint as freely. しかし、えー、組みひもの美しさというのはですね、そのような構造と、えー、デザインが表裏一体的なところにあります。But the beauty of Kumi Himo, in fact, lies in this the fact that the design and architecture is together, it is the same thing in Kumi Himo. そうですねえー、先ほどもお伝えしましたが、えー、建築というものはですね、えー、重力にあがなうために、えー、ストラクチャーがあって、そのストラクチャーをの中で、えー、デザインがされているものですが、組紐も同様なのです。And I have mentioned architecture in the beginning of the presentation. The reason being, architecture is the design object、um, that is designed to go against the gravity. And Kumi Himo has that purpose as well. It is designed in such way to. Kumi Himo も構造という制約の中でも、えー、制約がありながらもさまざまな美しい、えー、デザインを作ることが可能です。To create beautiful designs against that limitations. このようにさまざまなモチーフ、こちらはあの茶碗です、木法の茶碗ですが、こういったものをモチーフにして Kumi Himo を作ったりもします。And... We make different kumihimo、um, based on diff- various、um, inspirations and motifs. And this, is,、um, this table is a national treasure, and we have、um, created kumihimo inspired by the table.、えー、kumihimo は、えー、織物のように具象的に、えー、リアルに絵を描くことはできないんですが、えー、あらゆるものを抽象化して表現することに適しています。組みひも can be used for any specific、um, portrayal、um, of an item, unlike weaving. However, it is perfect for abstract expressions. And that's how the idea is being expressed,、um, as you see here. なので、例えばこの絵画をモチーフにした、この浮世絵をモチーフにした組みひもを作るとなったら、この絵画の要素を一旦バラバラに分解して、えー、組みひものストラクチャーに置き換えて表現します。So for example,、um, when we decide to make kumihimo based on this ukiyo-e on the right hand side, we would first deconstruct the elements from this ukiyo-e and decide which parts to be taken on to the designing and start braiding in such way. えー、まあこのようにですね、あやだしという技法がありまして、えー、このように絵柄を描く技法もあり非常に美しいのですが、えー、やや組紐の本流メインストの表現からは外れるものです。Just to explain, there are techniques such as ayadashi,、um, which you would be able to paint、um, or draw on top of kumihimo, and they are beautiful as they are, as you can see, but they are slight, they are seen as more of a diversion and from the main line kumihimo. それではですね、そして組紐の今後の未来についてですね、私どもがどういうふうに取り組んでいるかについてお話しさせていただきたいと思います。Now we have come on to the section、um, of the future of Kumihimo and what we are working to protect it.、えー、まずですね、あのちょっと私たちの,会あの,、まあ、あのワークショップがどのような集団かということからお話ししたいと思うんですが。えー、このようにですね、この200年の間に1、2、3、4、4回建物が建て替わっています。Um, えー、あの明治維新というですね日本では革命があったんですが、えー、その時にですねこの私たちの建物のすぐ近くは1回燃えてしまったんですが。And in the Meiji, um... Around the Meiji Restoration era,、um, there was a big fire in the area.、えー、近くでですね、明治維新の革命軍と幕府軍が戦争をしてたんですね
um, there was a battle going on, um, the faction against the uh, the faction for the restoration of the emperor and the the shogunate army. そして、えー、革命軍の方にはイギリスからたくさんのアームストロング砲が供給されていました、えー、そのアームストロング砲の弾がですね全然違う方向にある私たちの会社の近くにまでたくさん飛んできました time,、so えー、そして燃えた後に作ったのがこの建物なんですがこの建物も関東大震災という地震で亡くなりました。So this, uh, first, oldest picture, um, picture building was built on the site, but that building、um, was、uh, there was a great Kanto earthquake、uh, which, which destroyed this building.、えー、そして次にできた建物は、えー、第二次世界大戦で燃えました。And the next、um, reconstructed building、uh, was destroyed by the、um, world, Second World War.、えー、そして次にできた建物は、えー、燃えたりはしてないんですが、えー、70年ぐらい経ってちょっと傾いてきたので建て替えました。And the third one,、um, it wasn't burnt、uh, for the first time, but it,、um, after 70 years of usage, it started to It creaked slightly and it was、um, angled, therefore, it needed to be rebuilt.、えー、ここ and you see our current building on the right hand side.、えーこのようにですね、まあ私たちまあ長く続いている企業にとっては、まあ未来というものはですね、えー、こういったあの歴史の中の延長上に続いていくものというふうに考えています。So,、um, the reason why I've shown you these pictures is to show the long history、um, of our company. For a company with a long tradition and history, the future exists in the timeline、uh, that is being carried on from the past.、えーえー、いい um, I would like us to carry on making Kumihimo、um, until the end of the universe.、えー、このようにですね。す、え、べ、ー、て手作りで手仕事によって組みひもを作っています。All the processes、um, taken on in our workshop is done by hand, as you can see here.、えー、古,い組古くからある組みひもを作るだけではなくですね、あの新しい構造の組みひもというものもいろいろ作っております。Not only we make 組みひも is based on the traditional Historical techniques, and we do work on to create new patterns.、えーね、we have created about 100 years ago. えー、最近この、えー、2枚の2本の正解派をですね1本に合わせて4つの色が順番に出てくる帯締めを新たに作りました。And we have created newer versions of 正解派 which、um, the original 正解派 are linked together and so the colors alternate and come out in both front and the back. えー、またですねあの、和服の帯締めだけではなくですね、えー、こういった新しいプロダクトも作っています。And we are not just limited to 帯締め for kimono wear.、Um, we create these newer items for Western clothing as well. まああの歴史的にはですね、あらゆる時代で、唯一、すべての時代で、えー、ベルトとしての使い方が組紐というのは使われたので、現代においてもやはりベルトを作っていきたいと思っております。And throughout Kumihimo's long history, they were always used as belts. So I believe that I, I would like to carry on making Kumihimo as belts、I'm、carrying on in the future.、えー、またですね、このようにアクセサリーなど、えー、組紐でどのようなものが作られている,いるかということをですね、絶えず。えー、試行錯誤しております、えー、そして、えー、この
as such. やはりこの我々伝統工芸が生き残っていくためにはですね、日本の中だけではなくて、世界に向けて、えー、組紐を広げていくことが必要ですので、えー、なんとか頑張って世界のにも、えー、出ていきたいと思っております。And in order for Japanese craft、um, like us to survive, I think it is very important not to be limited to Japan as a market.、Um, I would like to open up to the world. So that is something that I, as, I will try、um, going forward even more. またですね、こういったあのいろんな新しい素材での組紐を作ることにもトライしています。And we also attempt to create new types of 組紐 using different materials. And techniques. えー、そしてですね、さらにあの組紐を作るだけではなく、私たちはですね、組紐の、えー、技術教室を日本全国で展開しています。だいたい生徒さんが今、500人ぐらいいます。And also, we are not,、um, we are not a company that is dedicated to just create 組紐 We run workshops and classes. Um, to encourage people to learn more about Kumihimo.、Um, currently, we have more than 500 students.、えー、またですね、あの、Kumihimo をやったことがない人のためにですね、Kumihimo、えー、の魅力を伝えて、えー、また Kumihimo を体験ができる施設というのを今建、建設中です。We are also building a facility that would enable those who have never touched a experienced Kumihimo making to be able to do so. I'm called Kumihimo Experience. By Domio. えー、組紐を作るという行為はですね非常に実は楽しくて、えー、かつですね、あのーまあ、非常に心が落ち着く技術でもあります、行為でもあります。組紐ブレーディング is very fun once you experience it, but also very meditative as well. 組、え、紐、ー、の商品を作るだけではなくてですね、この組紐の作る楽しさとか、えーまあ、究極的には、えー組紐を売る、作って売るのではなくて、えーまあ、組紐を作ること自体を楽しむだけで、えー、技術というものが、あと、後のように伝わっていく、そういう道もあるんではないかと思っております。So, as I've touched on this,、um, just creating and selling 組紐 is not our focus. We would like everyone to learn about 組紐 So, in the future,、um, one of the ways that we could see our business is that let people come to ex- Experience Kumihimo just to, for its meditative、um, qualities as well, and for them to enjoy it and not necessarily use the kum- end products of Kumihimo.、Um, that's, that's one possibility as well.、えー、またですね、まあ、Kumihimo という工芸自体が、この手作り、手で作る Kumihimo というものがですね、あのー、機械を使わないので、非常に、あのー、CO2 を排出しませんし、エネルギーも使いません。And these are the examples of how sustainable、um, Kumihimo is.、Um, a, my interpretation of how Kumihimo can be sustainable.、Um, because it's not machine production,、um, there is no CO2 emissions、um, in the production process. また、えー、一点一点職人の手で作るため、あの作りすぎてですねあの、捨てたり、破棄をしたりするということもありません。And there is no industrial waste coming from Kumihimo because we would never overmake、um, because everything is done by hand.、えー、Kumihimo というのはですね、非常にあの繊細な一本の線の中に美を描く工芸なのですが、とにかくあの小さいということが非常に大事なんですね。As I've explained,、um, the beauty of Kumihimo is how the colors and patterns are intricately braided in just a single line. So, The size、um, is very important. How small it is is the beauty of Kumihimo.、えー、小さい世界で、えー、楽しむ。小さい世界の中に美を見出して、えー、長い時間をかけて作ってそれを楽しむ。So the idea is not to go big, it's to keep it small, to really focus on the small space and create something over a long period of time and enjoy the whole process. えー、そ,れそういったものはですね、まあ、非常にあの環境負荷もなく、えー、な長くサスティナブルに楽しめる工芸なのではないかというふうに思っております。Um, therefore, I believe Kumihimo is the craft that can be enjoyed over a long period of time、um, in a very sustainable manner.
、このように未来の道はですね、えー、一つとは限りませんので、私たちはさまざまな、えー、道を試しながら、組み紐の未来というものを歩んでいきたいというふうに思っております。I believe there is not one way to make sure that to future proof your business. There are several different ways. So, as we are keep doing, we would be conducting trial and error and attempting in different v a r i e t y of ways to make sure that Kumihimo is present in the future. I think that's the first thing. That concludes my presentation. And now I would like to demonstrate、um, how Kumihimo is being braided. So, there are Yamaguchi san, Onegai Shimas. Yamaguchi san, please, if you could go over to the stand. So, there are Maza no Marudai to you die no Kumikara Hajimetai to Moimas. First, I would like to show you how Kumihimo is braided on Marudai.、Um, please, Yamaguchi san, thank you. Eh, Kotsuna Marudai wa desu ne, eh, Mano, Dochaka to you to, Shikaku, Dattari, Chohoke, Dattari, no Atsumi no Aru, Kumihimo, Skurukoto ga, Tokui na Dai desu. And Marudai. Tends to be suited to create kumihimo, which are three dimensional, so thicker in the cross section,、um, in a square or circular shape.、えー、And you see a lot of bobbin like shapes、um, around Marudai.、Uh, they are called tama, and they are all weighed.、えーそしてですね、あの、まあ、下にあの鉛の入った重りがついてまして、その玉と重りでぎゅっと糸を引っ張りながら組んでいきます。And also, um, in the center of Marudai, um, you see a, you see a lead, um, which is being attached as another form of um weight, and so thread is being pulled from both directions. えー、そうすることで非常にしっかりとした組紐を作ることができます。By adding these weights,、um, you make sure that the 組紐 final 組紐 is extremely strong and elastic. そうですね。こちらの組み方がですね、まあ、あの組紐の中でも非常に基本的な奈良組という組み方になります。And what we are showing you now,、uh, demonstrating you is 奈良組 braiding,、um, which is the simpler. Braiding techniques. And when you see her twisting the thread, it is, it is in fact,、um, you are twisting to make sure that they are tight enough.、ね、And by doing so, you are making sure that the final cross sections are. Tightly braided together. So, the next one is Takadai. Next, Yamaguchi s a n could you move to Takadai, please? The next one is Takadai. 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 The n e x is More suited to create flatter and wider kumihimo compared to Marudai. このようにですね、あの、こうピンと張られてる糸を手で上げ下げして、一番先頭にある糸を通して、一番後ろに置きます。So, as you see, I'm using the header, bamboo's header.、Um, Yamaguchi san is making sure not to take all the threads.、Um, some of the threads are being pulled down, not to be braided. And she would take on the first thread at the top and braid it downwards.、えー、そしてですね、この竹でできたヘラで糸を打ち込むことによって、組紐が締まります。And by this action of tapping the thread、um, with bamboo hera, Make sure that Kumihimo is tight enough. 
、このヘラの打つ角度や力の強さや回数によって、えー、組みひもの良し悪しが決まります。And the quality of Kumihimo is ensured by the angles and the number of taps you give with these hera. ね、いい It does look like she is playing an instrument, doesn't it? Especially with the tapping sound as well. So, this is the first time I've ところまで行った後にどうなるかと言いますと、no、on, このように、えー、このコマと呼ばれるシャトルがですね、えー、一番戻ってまた最初の状態に戻ります。To create more space、uh, for more braiding to be done. So, this is the way that we have to do this. 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 You have to make sure that the, you are braiding in the same pressure, applying the same pressure and the same strength,、um, whether you're tapping or braiding, pulling the thread,、um, regardless of what time of the day, whether it's the first thing in the morning or in the afternoon when you're really very tired. And I would say that. Whatever, going, whatever is going on in your head would come out in Kumihimo. So you have to treat it almost like a Zen practice, that you have to keep your mind to the serene and clear state. I really hope that you're interested in trying out Kumihimo braiding yourselves in the future.、はい、Thank you very much, Yamaguchi san. それでは私どものプレゼンテーションを終わらせていただきます。本日はご清聴ありがとうございました。And that concludes my presentation and demonstration. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Dormio san. Thank you very much, Yamaguchi san, as well. That was marvelous. We do have some time for some questions. We've had a lot of people watching as well, so、uh, online. We, I'll start with one question, if I may, from online. But if you'd like to ask a question here inside Japan House, please put your hand up and we will get a microphone to you so that everyone can hear, including those people online. And first of all, we, ha we have a, what, one question. Is Kumihimo taught in schools in Japan? And is it traditionally a male skill? Mazo d e s n e Ano Gakko no curriculum de Kumihimo no Jigio Garua Kedua Nine Desga, Nandoka Kodomo Mukeni Workshop o o k o n a t a Kotoga a r i m a s Um, to answer the first part of the question,、uh, Kumihimo is not part of the national curriculum as such, but we have conducted workshops、um, to teach Kumihimo to children. いい but we would love Kumihimo to be part of the national curriculum if,、um, if possible.、えーまねね、And Currently, there are more female braiders than male、um, braiders.、えーね、so, in the Edo period, the Edo period was a lot of sunrise were researching into Kumihimo. And they were on the, as a side business, they were making Kumihimo as well. 
Okay, thank you. If we have a question, maybe in, yes, we do. We have someone at the back. If you could put your hand up and we'll get a, a microphone to you so that everybody can hear. Thank you very much. Ah, 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 ah. あ、あの素晴らしいあの通訳の方がいらっしゃるので、日本語であの質問させていただきたいと思うんですが、まずあの素晴らしいプレゼンテーションありがとうございました。えっと質問に移らせていただきたいんですけれども、えー、組紐のその手作業の素晴らしさ、工芸の素晴らしさっていうのは重々承知しているつもりなんですけれども、これっていうのは機械的にこれを再現しようという試みっていうのはかつて。行われていることいたことっていうのがあるんでしょうか。で、またこれを再現しようとする上で、何か再現しきれないものっていうのが、あのその機械化を阻んでいることの一つの要素なのかなっていうことを伺いたいと思って質問させていただきました。あ、ありがとうございます。Should we have it in, in English first as well? あ、そうか。あ、先にあ。<笑> the question um was on the The aspect of handcrafts and machine production.、Um, so, the, the I understand the importance of handcrafts and how、um, how you value、um, kumihimo braided by hands. But have you ever tried recreating kumihimo and、uh, making this kumihimo using machines? And if if yes,、um, was there anything that prevented?、Um, Making exactly the same hand-rated kumihimo by machines, and what were the aspects? Eh, 非常にあの重要な質問ありがとうございます。Eh, じあの組紐を作る機械というものはですね、実際にはあの存在していて、あの例えば組あ靴紐だとか、あのさまざまな用途の組紐がですね、機械によってあの実際には作られています。Thank you for such an important question. There are machines that could produce kumihimo, and it does exist. It's used for various purposes, such as、um, making, manufacturing shoelaces. Eh, ただですね、あの私たちが作ってる非常にあの複雑な組紐のようなものは、えー、おそらくですね、機械で作るのはちょっと効率が悪いのということがあって、あまり作られていないものが多いです。特に一手一手その手順を変えていくようなタイプのものとかですね。But the types of kumihimo that we produce,、um, especially、uh, highly complex ones, such as、um, when the patterns need to be changed constantly, that is not very efficient to do,、um, to aim to create by machines. So、um, they are not currently made by machines. またですね、その出来上がり、出来上がった組紐も,もですね、あの機械というものは、もうずっと一定のこうテンションをかけながら、ぎゅっと引っ張りながら組まざるを得ないんですね。まあ、そうすると、あまりこう、伸縮性のない組紐ができてしまいます。And the finally produced, the end, end product, if they are produced by machines, the 組紐 won't be as flexible or has a good tautness or stretch because you have to adjust、um, as, you, as you braid. そ,うですね、それに対してあの手で組んだ組紐というのは非常に力のこう強弱をつけながら時にキュッと締めたりふわっと置いたりしてですね強弱をつけながら組むとですね非常にいい風合いの伸縮性のある組紐ができます。Um, in contrast,、um, handmade 組紐 you could adjust the strength of the string、um, thread being pulled or how, how much tension that you are adding in each process. So you can, you do, you do make sure the flexibility、um, of it. So, 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 Every step of the way and end products as well. But hand braided kumihimo, however experienced the braider is, you do see the differences in each product. Some, some, ma, you ragi, this, ne, you ragi, ga, te zukri no kumihimo ni, すごく a t a t a k a m とか a no, ningen tekina, so, ningen tekina, ko, a t a t a k a m もたらしています 
But those differences is what really gives the character to Kubihimo um, as the warmth that you would like to see in those handcraft products. Thank you. You may have a chance for maybe one or two more questions. If somebody has a question in the room here, in the front here, if you keep your hand, thank you very much. Is the material always silk or do you mix it with others? Have you tried with metal, for example, copper? あの、日本 Historically, uh, Japanese kumihimo were made with silk threads only. Um, but we have created kumihimo with um, gold-plated thread, for example. But we have never attempted to create kumihimo with the metal just by itself. ただ、あの、未来に向けてですね、あの、様々な可能性を試して、ま、もちろん主力では作り続けるんですけど、それ以外にもいろんな材料で組み紐を作ってみたいというふうに思っております。but going forward, um, as I mentioned, we are very much uh, willing to attempt different materials and techniques. So we are hoping to try out different um, materials, but um, always silk would always be part of our business, but um, other materials we do, will be looked at as well. Thank you very much. A very pertinent question, I think. We have some of that uh in our exhibition as well later so thank you very much it's probably a very good time maybe to end here because we have got to know lots of questions have come through online i think you've answered some of them or, or already through the questions here so i think we will bring it to a close will you please join me in thanking once again domyo kiichiro thank you very much indeed thank you thank you very much Yamaguchi Keiko. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And of course, our interpreter, Air Kurosawa. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody here. And thank you very much, uh, everybody online. If you'd like to listen to today's presentation again, please do look it up on our online channels on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, following today's event, you will be sent a, a simple uh, feedback form if you could fill that in we would be most grateful as it will help us to continue hopefully to do these things in the future up and coming here at japan house we do have of course from today kumihimo japanese silk braiding by donyo those of you here in in japan house will be able to have a chance to have a look at this this evening as well we also have donyo san visiting uh kumihimo at the Royal Armouries Museum in Leeds. That will be happening tomorrow. So if anybody's in Yorkshire, please do come and see us. And on the, also at the same day as well, we have the Culture of Ornament in Japan, a talk by Hashimoto Mari. Hashimoto Mari is the curator for the exhibition of Kumihimo that we have here. Thank you very much once again. Thank you very much. Domyo Kiichiro Yamaguchi Keiko. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.